Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. This is Kevin Shively, lead pastor of St. Matthew Lutheran Church in York, Pennsylvania, a congregation of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. And I'm here with this week's edition of Preaching Points. Uh, today's session is for Christmas Eve, December 24th, and the text is from Luke's Gospel, the second chapter, verses 1 through 14. I'll be reading from the New Revised uh, standard version of the Bible. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. This is the word of the Lord. I'm going to guess that most people who are watching this video have heard this story before. In fact, for many of us, it's so familiar, we could practically say it without reading it, because it's become a very beloved part of our lives, as is Christmas, a very beloved part of our lives. And the words that jumped out at me in this text, among many things that are important, are the words of the angel to the shepherds. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. There's a great expectation in hearing those words. And for us this year, that great expectation <clears throat> steps into this dysfunctional reality that we're calling 2020 with a pandemic that is claiming so many lives and putting countless more at risk. But in this story that we've heard so many times is this gospel promise of good news and his great joy. For born to us is a child, the Son of God, the Savior, Christ the Lord. God is born into the world in Jesus. We call that the incarnation. And in this year, when we cannot be together the way we so often are, when we cannot do the things, the traditions that we have held dear, nonetheless, we too can pause and give thanks and glorify God right where we are. Everything is different this year, but this story, God's story, is the same. God's message is the same. And in this story, we can have hope and peace.
peace given to us in the Savior, the gift of God's love. This hope and this peace help us face all that is different. Help us, helps us face our fears and our struggles and our disappointments. And so, in spite of all that's different, we're going to proclaim and tell the old story, the familiar story. And I would encourage us to choose to praise God. Because we proclaim a mystery that we need to hear in this mysterious time. And we can rely on that which has gotten us this far as the people of God. And that is God's grace and God's love. And the hope that is born anew each Christmas as we celebrate the birth of our Savior. In fact, one commentator I heard said that you and I, we who are the church, we are made for moments like this. Think about that. That in spite of all that's going on, if we step back and think about it, we've got everything we need to get past this time to survive moments like this doesn't mean it's going to be easy and it hasn't been and it doesn't mean that the battle is over because in many ways I think we're still in the midst of it but because God is with us you and I even though we don't feel like it we're ready for this what is it that took Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem in the first place? A census. A census counting people for the purpose of the government. Counting. The Son of God, Jesus, was born into humanity as a fellow human being like you and me. And his incarnation is about who counts. It's not simply about God coming into the world. It's about God coming into a world, into the world in a way that ultimately brings all humanity to God. Why? Because we count to God. We're important to God. And nothing is going to change that good news. And in the midst of that, as we think of that good news, on this yet another silent night, may we find the power, the strength, and the hope that is given us through God's Son, our Savior Jesus. Although it's going to be different, may you and yours have a very blessed Christmas. And I pray every good thing for you as we approach the new year. Until next time.